What a mighty God. What a glorious God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. Say this Lord and clear. Say, I paralyze every force of the wicked. I paralyze every force of the wicked. Mounted against my life. Every force of the wicked between me and my destiny be arrested by the blood. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, I arrested it by the blood. I arrested it by the blood. I arrested it by the blood. Legraga zabara da rebe bia parandosh. I rege de rebe bege bere be bia panda. Ligo zon tolomondo lobo boyo brodosh. We are arrested by the power and the blood of Jesus. Le brada rababa gashanda baha. Zo leven de lebe bega bara di rebe bios. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Akum bara da rebe bia. Zele bandele be bia paradori be bios. I rogo do roba boko she badara babaya. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What a glorious God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You're going to really, to, today, you're going to ask the Lord, Spirit of the living God, Every blockage, every barrier standing between you and your greatness today must be rolled away. It must be rolled away. It must be rolled away. Every form of barrier, every form of obstacle, every form of delay that has been mounted between you and your sources this year must be rolled away. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, roll away every satanic barrier. Roll away every delays in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray. Libra Gaza Braca Zumbrandele. Elabandele Bebe Rebebeca Baradia. Rabba Babaca Shanda Bahaya. Every form of delay mounted against me today must be rolled away. Be rolled away. Be rolled away. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout fire. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're going to pray today. Hallelujah. Asking God, every satanic door that has been opened against your life, every door that has been opened in your family, listen to me, hallelujah, by the sin of another, by the sin of somebody, a door can be opened to the demonic realm, amen, it can begin to mess up, amen, hallelujah, and as it can begin to mess up, something happened in the camp of, in the camp of the, in the camp of, uh, in, in the camp of Israelites, hallelujah, Joshua, who was a man of war, who has been sent to destroy, amen, to take over the cities, amen. Something began to happen because why? The sin entered the camp, amen. Hallelujah. When sin entered the camp, the devil began to gain even victory with that small island called um, um, the, 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 the I, amen. Hallelujah. I was a small city, amen. Hallelujah. That began to conquer the land, amen, amen, amen. And Joshua, hallelujah, who could have victory, could not have victory. Why? Because somebody opened their, 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 their powers against, they begin to open their powers, hallelujah, open the demonic powers to begin to terrorize the land. I don't know who has opened the land, who has opened forces, who has submitted authority in your family that has caused the enemy, the rage of the enemy to prevail against your life, prevail against the people in the family. By one person, amen, opening the door to the demonic, amen, hallelujah, it can literally paralyze or arrest, amen, the success of another. And God needs somebody else to rise up in the spirit, in the realms of the spirit, to begin to avert, to begin to destroy, to begin to negate the workings of the devil, hallelujah. Go ahead today, I want you to begin to pray. Every satanic door that has been opened in my life, every door of iniquity, every door of captivity, every door of witchcraft, every door, every satanic door that has been opened in my life, today, let the door be arrested by the blood. Lord, arrest every satanic door. Lord, arrest every evil door. Lord, arrest it by the blood. Let, listen, door can be a person. Door can be a person. Paul says, I've opened a great and effectual door to you. Hallelujah. There's been a great and effectual door, but there are many adversaries. Ha, you are going to pray. Every adversary is at the edge of my breakthrough. Every adversary is on my door of breakthrough. Every, for every door, there is no devils. For new devil, for new doors of opportunity, there are no devils that are attached to it. Every satanic 
oppression, every satanic agent, every satanic oppression standing between me and any door, every power at the edge of success waiting for me at the edge of every door open for my life, let him be arrested by fire. Go ahead and begin to pray. Libranda sagata bahaya. Ligeleban de lebebe ya paradish. Rebebe ya barandore bebios. Let the evil door be arrested. Let the evil door be arrested. We arrest the door by the blood. Shagata barabaka zebrandesh. Let every satanic door be arrested. By the power in the blood. By the power in the blood. By the power, by the supreme blood. Ligrogo zumbranda rababaya. Shadabana madele bebe ya paradish. Lord, we are rested in the name of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Come on. Glory to your holy name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You're going to pray. Every satanic door that has been opened by any member of your family, by your children, any door that has been opened on our ways against you today. Father, let that door be closed down now. We close down that evil door. Every door, every door, a door can be a voice that is speaking against you. Whatsoever door speaking against your life, let it be destroyed. Let it be closed down, closed down by the blood. In the name of Jesus. Let the doors be closed down. By the power in the blood, let the doors be closed down. We bring it down by the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Say this loud and clear. Say, every door of accusation open in my life. By fire, I close you down. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every satanic door, I close you down. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I close down every satanic door. I close down every evil door. Every strategic satanic door open in my life. Lord, I close it down. I close it down. I close it down. I close down satanic doors. I close down evil doors open in my life. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Let every satanic door open in my life. I close it down by the blood. I close it down by the blood. Let the satanic doors be closed down. I close down evil doors. I close down satanic doors. I close down satanic doors. I close down I close down evil doors. I close down satanic doors. Every door of accusation raised against my life. Let the doors be closed down. Let the doors be closed down. Let the doors be closed down. Ragabar, ribibia, paraderia. Zelemandele, mebiga, baradin. Ilebrando, zombra, hose. In Jesus' name we pray. Every doors of affliction. Opened. Oh, brother, is. When this door of affliction is open in your life, it's open as a result of somebody praying against your life. When their people begin to prophesy, when their people begin to say things, negative things against you, hallelujah, when, for instance, you can be married to a spouse and if the spouse don't like you, there are some things that can be said, amen, out of rage, and those things can become judgment against you. The enemy can begin to use those things to affect your life, to crawl against you, to attack you. Are you hearing me? Amen. You're going to pray. <laughs> Every door that has been opened in my life, Every door of affliction that has been opened in my life. <laughs> As a result of negative spoken words. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Let all satanic doors be closed down now. Every satanic door opened by my spouse, every satanic door opened by my children, be closed down by the blood, be closed down by the blood. Regeze braga zagadia paradia, regge de ribebi apa, jon dele meke pia, ligan tele bebe a paradia, le gragazo revege bia bradia. I close down every satanic door, every door of wickedness, every door of affliction, every satanic door of failure opened against my life as a result of evil spoken word, as a result of judgment over my life. I break it. I command that door to be silenced. Every door of death.
life. Every door of oppression, every door, every door, every door that has been opened, we close the door in the realm of the spirit. Every door opened by my children, every door opened by my husband, every door opened by my wife that is not of God. I close down that door by the power in the blood. Rabaka Zegada, Ligandele Mendelibia, Raga Zegarada Ribia Baradi. Let the door be closed down. 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 By the power in the blood, we close down evil doors. Raga Zegadara Babaya Baradi. I close down evil doors. I close down evil doors. Let every evil doors, every karadari bibia, every satanic prophecy that has opened the negative doors in my life, I close you down by the blood. I silence you by the blood. The name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, my Father. We give you the praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Every wicked agenda for my life. Every satanic agenda for my children. Every satanic agenda for my destiny this year. Is cancelled by the blood. Is shall not stand by the blood. Open your mouth and begin to pray that by the blood of Jesus Christ, I wipe out every every decision of the enemy, every agenda of the enemy for my life and my family, for my life and my children, for my life and my husband, for my life and my wife. Every satanic agenda, every satanic move today is destroyed by fire. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, rebe, 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. What a mighty God. What a glorious God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Begin to thank the Lord for what he has done so far. Amen. Begin to thank the Lord for what he has done so far. Hallelujah. 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 Something is dropping in my spirit even as we speak right now. Something is dropping in my spirit as I pray right now. There is an attack. There is an attack. There is an agenda. There is a plot of the enemy that the enemy wants to do. The enemy wants to increase. His, 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 the enemy wants to release the spirit of death so much in the body of Christ this year. You're going to hear a lot of spiritual giants drop it dead this year. And this year has been mandated by the enemy to take down spiritual giants. Some generals are going to go home this year, this year, this year, this year. Mark the calendar, 2018. I'm saying it now. There is, um, there is an onslaught of the spirit of death. You're going to pray this prayer right now. <laughs> Every, any member of my family caged by the spirit of death Say this prayer with, with all of the aggression you carry. Even if you're lying down, you're sitting down, you're standing, say with aggression, with an attitude. Say, <laughs> any member of my family tied down by the spirit of death be released by fire. 
Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every spirit of death. Every spirit of death that is holding any member of your family, I untie them by the blood. I untie them by the blood. I release them by the blood. I release them by fire. Any member of my family, any man or woman, any of my children, any of my husband, my wife, my children, my, 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 my husband, under the clutches of the spirit of death, my children, I say be released by the blood, be released by fire, be released by the blood, be released by fire. Be released from the cages of death. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Arabaga zambrandia ilegrenderia baradi. I say be released from the clutches of hell. Be released from the spirit of death by the power in the blood. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. What a God we call, what a God we serve. Hallelujah. What a God we serve. Libanto la mandala bahaya. What a God we serve. I bless your name, Jesus. I bless your mighty name. What a glorious God. Amen. What a glorious God. Your life will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lift your two hands and say, my hands are blessed. Say, my hands are blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Halakatila baladosh. In the name of Jesus, one prayer you're going to pray is this. The Bible says, you shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be the head and not the tail. Say, my father, my father. This, the anointing to be the head and not the tail, let it come upon me now. The anointing to be a leader and not a follower, let it be upon me now. Lord, let it be released upon me now. Re up your mouth and begin to pray. The anointing to be the head and not the tail. Zagragazi bradori bebia. Lebrebebege berebebege berebebega baradi. Anoint me to be the head and not the tail. Live ro jabragazagaria. A fresh anointing, a fresh anointing. La gragaze ribebia. A rege de rie parada ribebege bia. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let it be released. In the name of Jesus. Allah da do shakada badara bababaya. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, what a God we serve. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you for your power, for your presence. I thank you, Father, for what you're doing so far in our lives. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, manifest your presence, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Genesis chapter 4, verse 7. Le Grago Zumbranda Rababaka Shade Behondo Vadias. Le Bele Bebia Barando Rogo Zumbrahas. Blessings to your holy name. Then sings my soul, my Savior comes to thee. Oh, great thou art. My soul, my Savior, comes to Thee. All great Thou art, <laughs> all great Thou art. Genesis chapter 4, verse 7. Genesis chapter 4, verse 7. Uh, amen. If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? 
if thou doest not well, sin light at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Sin lieth at the door. Spirit of the living God, as we get into your word today, Lord, I pray that you begin to illuminate your word today. Bring clarity to our soul. Let the voice of the Lord begin to minister to us individually. Lord, I pray that the word of the Lord is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Lord, by the reason of your word, I pray that you will turn every letter, turn every letter to your spirit, that your spirit will begin to fall upon us, O God, today. Holy Spirit, give us great understanding, O God. Let there be fresh manna, fresh manna from above. Release it into our spirit. Create your hunger within our destiny. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray that the spirit of revelation will flow freely. Let the realm award flow, O God, upon every life today. Lord, I pray that individuals as you hear your word, let there be diverse translation, diverse interpretation of your word, diverse mis mysteries of your word be revealed to us. Engage us with your light. Engage us with your light in the name of Jesus. Power of your spirit, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Let us be charged up with fire this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. As we speak on the door, I pray that, Lord, you will begin to give us hidden mysteries within the world that will be revealed and unveiled to us in jesus name we pray amen hallelujah god bless you uh thank you so much for joining us hallelujah some of you are watching us far away some of you are watching us from overseas i don't know if you are back god bless you amen amen all the way my family all the way from zambia god bless you hallelujah thank you lord jesus glory 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 amen i want also want to thank god also too for many lives and destinies that this morning your life will never be the same again. I, I promise you this. I promise you this. By the reason of the world. In this season, amen, every time God wants to change your season, God will release a prophet into your life. And every time, amen, the devil wants to affect you and afflict you, he sends a messenger into your life. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, my sister. That was very short. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, we will talk afterward. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Now, what is a door? What is a door? What is a door? What is it? This door we're talking about. Glory, 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 glory. Oh, Rabaka Shandelebo Sumblahayas. Amen. What is a door? A door is an opening. A door is an entrance. This qualifies you for another season. Now, this qualifies you for another season. A season. Amen. Hallelujah. That it, it, when you see a door, a door can also gives an approval an attention and an entrance into divinity amen which will cause like you see behind me there is a ladder that leads you to another door in the realms of the spirit there are many doors doors can bring it can also imply in the realm of the spirit a portal a spiritual portal where the supernatural meets the natural hallelujah amen many times we talk about open heavens there before you you go through in the realms of the spirit there's also a traffic you have to go through there is a gate a spiritual gate, amen. Hallelujah. A door symbolizes an opening, an entrance, amen, or a doorway. Hallelujah. An entry point. And this is what I want to talk about. Hallelujah. The door. There are so many doors in our life, amen. There are so many things that speak of doors in our life. Glory, glory, glory. Amen. Now, hallelujah. Now we see this story in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 4, how God began to speak, amen. He says, It came, sin light at your door. Sin light at your door. I don't know what kind of things are happening at your door. Because there are doors to your soul. There are doors to your soul. The doors to your will, your mind, and your emotions. Amen. And Jesus said, I knock at your door. I stand and knock at your door. Open. Hallelujah. He that he, he, he that hears my voice, open. Hallelujah. And so the Lord is being so many times God will begin to knock at the door of our heart. Hallelujah. And but here, here, here is it. When sin lies at your door, you must arrest. You must. But when your door is opened, it means that your guard is open, your gate is open, and anything can happen. Either you can be afflicted or you can receive messages from God one way or the other. Hallelujah. So today we're going to be, be, be looking at that and we'll be able to understand um, I mean, different ways, different ways, di different things. Look at what in, in, in Genesis chapter 18 verse 2. Look at what it says. It says, Genesis chapter 18 verse, verse 1. Genesis 18 verse 1. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mareh, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men, three men, 
stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself before the ground. Hallelujah. In the, amen. And he said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee, from thy servant. Hallelujah. So many people right now are enslaved by the wrong people that come into your life. Amen. They are in a, in the, if you when you stay at the tent of your door and you are watchful, when you become watchful, amen. In this season, there are great people that come our way, and there are wrong people that come our way. Many great people that trigger fruitfulness in our life, and many people that come into our life that trigger barrenness in our life. You want the Lord to keep away the people that trigger barrenness in our destiny. Hallelujah. Because why? They will create a sense of delay. They will create a, a, a sense of problems and a sense of murmuring. A sense, uh, uh, they will create a kind of like, um, they will can bring sin at your the level of, at your door, causing you to begin to uh, walk in a level of disobedience. Hallelujah. But there are certain people that when they come into your life, hallelujah, they trigger the promises of God. And here we see something happening. Amen. When Abraham began to watch and pray, the Bible says it was at the tent of the door. Hallelujah. And he began to observe three men walking past. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he ran to go meet them, bowed himself to the ground. Only God knows what they were wearing. Were they wearing a priestly garment? How did he recognize them? And he says, My Lord, if now I found favor in thy sight, pass not away. I pray thee from thy servants. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched and wash your feet. Rest yourself under the tree. Amen. And suddenly he began to do something awesome. He began to kill a goat. He began to make sacrifice. He began to feed some people. It's almost like, it's almost like he was looking for just a stranger just to feed. I don't know what happened to him. But suddenly he took the right people. Hallelujah. I pray for you in this season that some Somehow, somehow, listen to me. I want to express something to you because every time when we see something here, we see that he said, Let a little water, I pray you be fetched and wash your feet, rest yourself under the tree. I will fetch a morsel of bread, comfort your heart. After that, ye shall pass on. Therefore, I ye come to your servant. And they said, So do so as thou hast. And Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah and make ready three measures of fine meal. Hallelujah. One of the things, let's keep reading. And Abraham ran unto the head, fetched a calf, tender and good, and gave it to a young man, and he hastened to dress it. He put in butter and milk. I pray for you. One of the things I want to pray for you is this, that in this season, God will give you provision, provision to be able to kind of harvest, to be able to, be able to not just to also harvest, but to be able to um, um, the word hospitable to be very hospitable to be able to offer sacrifice hallelujah offering sacrifices can be very costly but you'll be very generous amen in this season you want to live a life of generosity you want to be a, a you want to live that life of a giver you want to be a giver generously you just want to offer and give things many of us are becoming very very you know what I mean? Stingy, holding on to things. We must understand that if the Lord is to take us to another level, from glory to glory to glory to glory, amen, you must be generous with your offerings. You must be generous with your giving. Hallelujah. What do you mean, man of God? What do you? What are you saying? A generous heart. Once you are generous in the spirit, in your, with your heart, when you become very generous, you begin to attract the blessings. In the life of this man, we see Abraham. We see that the spirit, the, 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 the powers of hell, I want to explain it to you. Once God begins to release something in your life and says that you are a man of destiny, the devil will fight you to a nail. Now, we see the story of Joseph. Hallelujah. God, Joseph began to tell his dream. And when God, the devil, God began to share his dream, before, prior to that, the brothers were okay with Joseph. Now, why is it that when Joseph began to share the dream, how people will bow before him and whatever it is, the enemy began to rage against Joseph. Are you telling me the brothers didn't love Joseph? Even their father began to think otherwise like you mean we'll bow, bow, bow before you something happened in that picture and but so when you begin to study you realize that how come they began to really have an intent to kill him who was trying to terminate this guy let's go beyond the scenes behind it physically you will say man my brothers don't like me my brothers hate me no behind the scenes the devil was trying to the devil did not know what was going on and who was the chosen one in this family he just knew that abraham's seed was a blessed seed amen he looked at jacob's family and said who is this one that is blessed among all of them and the devil kept eyeing jacob remember that jacob was a man that carried the seed but the devil was after him to cheat him to delay him make sure that this man does not enter the promise 
Hallelujah. Remember his brother, I mean Esau, was a man that came from the Muslim background, the born servant. Hallelujah. So the devil was not even worried about that, that seed. He was worried about Jacob. Hallelujah. He tried to terminate Jacob because who was the one cursing Jacob? Who was the one afflicting him? Why was there so much warfare around Jacob? So when you study this, you begin to understand. Now, there must be an adversary. Hallelujah. Jacob might just seem like maybe he's, he was pronounced by Esau or something, but the devil literally was trying to terminate uh, um, Jacob. Jacob on the other side, his wife took the wrong, uh, took an idol, amen, hallelujah, that ended her life prematurely. Jacob says something. Now, when the blessings of God is upon you, those things ought not to happen, amen. But the devil literally wanted to destroy Jacob's life. Now, that Jacob got Joseph. Joseph was a man of fruitfulness. This guy began to reveal his dream. The devil took God so angry to terminate this boy, began to manipulate the hearts of many. To destroy this boy. The same spirit entered the spirit of Herod to terminate Jesus. To terminate Jesus. So what are you, so what are you to say, my brother and my sister? There is a familiar spirit. There is a spirit that goes around. And if you are a chosen seed in your family and you begin to proclaim, you begin to reveal what your true intention is for that family, the devil will see that, wow, this will be the light in this family. I need to kill this family. I need to kill this vessel. I need to kill this destiny. And what happens, it begins to walk in the heart. The Bible says the heart of a king is in the hands of the Lord. And in turn, it was over a wheels. Now, so therefore, too, the, the, the devil, too, can take the heart of people and begin to manipulate it, influence it for his behalf to terminate the golden seed. If there is a seed in the family that will bring help, bring assistance, the devil will begin to make sure that everybody's heart is turned against that individual. Hallelujah. And so those people now begin to use all kind of magic. Now, if it was in the days of old, hallelujah, I believe Joseph brothers would have called a soothsayer or a wizard to break a spell over the brother. Hallelujah. But in our days now, many people will go consult voodoo priests just to terminate this one that seems like will be loved by the father or loved by the mother. And it's happening nowadays, now in our days. Hallelujah. Why? Just because this guy had a vision. Now, when Joseph shared his dream, the enemy began to move on, on us, Lord. There was a wickedness that began to go further. Hallelujah. Everybody began to gang up against him. Everybody began to unite against him. Hallelujah. Even when he left his brothers, that same spirit still went ahead. Nobody was cursing him after he left. So who is that devil that tried to make sure that Potiphar's wife tried to seduce him, destroy? It was a spirit. That's a better spirit. The spirit that left the Garden of Eden and entered Cain to terminate Abel because Abel was the chosen one. Every time God picks up somebody, every time God says, I love this person, the devil will go at war and begin to release an onslaught. We manipulate everybody that is attached to you, everybody close to you. Let me tell you something. The Bible says that Lot and Lot and the father, as long as they were with Abraham, Abraham could not accomplish anything. Abraham could go nowhere until God had to cause, after the father died, then Lot, Lot and Abraham were still in union. God had to bring a level of confusion between the servants. Because Abraham was a man of love. He walked in so much love. When there was so much confusion, Abraham and Lot had to part ways. When Abraham parted ways, then God now said, Abraham, lift up the eyes and count the stars. He said, so shall that be your generation. Hallelujah. And this was how God began to elevate this man. God began to expand Abraham after family was separated. We said to him, come out from the family. Come out from among them. Hallelujah. After the separation, some of you are so, you want to bring Lot around you. You want to bring this one, bring this one, bring this one. It will choke your growth. It will choke your speed in life. I've not seen anybody that be around so much family and is able to accomplish what God has for them. In fact, the more you bring family around you, the more you lose the voice of God. When the family people come around you, the more you don't hear God's voice. It's terrible in this season. It's terrible. Hallelujah. But if you can get ready, if you can get ready and you want to really walk with God, it's just you. Amen. Get ready because the more you bring family members, the more you repent for them. Hallelujah. Don't forget that. Abraham um, and, 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 and what's his name? Um, oh my goodness. Job was always offering, Job always offered, Job always offered sacrifice before the Lord for his children and for his wife, but eventually they sinned against God. Hallelujah. And so when the devil began to attack Job, the first thing he attacked was his sacrifice. 
The devil went after what is sacrifice. He went after what is offering. Hallelujah. We are, we're not talking about sacrifice. We're talking about the door in this season. But I want to explain something to you. What Moses did and what Abraham did. Why? What happened? What triggered the fruitfulness? What triggered the prophecy? What opened the door? Hallelujah. was as a result of his sacrifice that he did. He didn't even know they were men of God. Hallelujah. I don't know if they were wearing a priestly robe. But he did it to some certain men of God by chance. And that they, they were provoked to release a prophecy. God did not tell them when this guy was going to have a child. But by the release of that seed, by the release of that sacrifice, hallelujah, a prophetic word was, came forth and broke the seal of barrenness. Broke the seal of barrenness and brought Sarah to a place of fruitfulness. Hallelujah. You must understand. Fruitfulness. Fruitfulness. Listen to me. In this season, in this season, <laughs> uh, your adversary huh? your adversary will want to connect with Balaam your adversary will always want to find Balaam to, to bring a curse upon you bring a curse upon your son bring a curse upon your children bring a curse upon your wife, your marriage amen, hallelujah and a Balaam will begin to issue curses remember what Balak said he said curse them because they are mightier than us cause them that our adventure will be able to prevail against them and so when the prophet began to bring a curse and begin to pronounce a curse over them, what happened? He says what? Bring me what? Build me up seven altars. Build me, build me up what? Seven altars. Seven altars. Seven altars. Amen. Hallelujah. When the enemy wants to revoke something good in your life, when the enemy wants to terminate or destroy something good in your life, the enemy will require blood sacrifice. The enemy will require a priest to place a curse over you. And the enemy can be in Africa. The enemy can be in India. The enemy can be anywhere. And some people will gather some money and release an offering. Amen. To that priest. To make sure the priest make a declaration. When the, when the priest makes a sacrifice and he makes a spare and declaration over your life. These people can be here. Maybe, they are, maybe you are, you are much stronger than them. But they will go and find a priest, a wicked priest, to make a declaration over you. Once the priest makes a declaration over you, nothing you do will be able to happen. And I told you before, two days ago, in the message, and I said, you have to take up a sacrifice. Hallelujah. A sacrifice and send it. Some people have made a sacrifice against your marriage. Some people have made a sacrifice. Paid huge money to divide your marriage, to break it up. And when you have such people who have paid somebody to break up your marriage or break up your relationship, hallelujah, and you're just sitting there, you're praying, and you're wondering what's going on and the rest, there are some spirits that are trying to divide your testimony. Hallelujah. What do you do? You raise up a sacrifice again, and you go before the priest. Let the priest make a declaration. It will cancel the old sacrifice. It will cancel a satanic sacrifice offered against you. Sometimes some wicked people can pay so much price just to bring you down or bring your son down to cause your children sorrow cause your children to bring sorrow to your life but by the risen sacrifice of God you can avert every satanic word spoken against you hallelujah you must make sure because any word that is proclaimed over your life will surely bring a blessing upon you amen what are we talking about a door amen so a sacrifice can open a door it can close the door and here we see how Abraham began to really open his mouth amen hallelujah and brought some sacrifice some something costly something he had he had animals and he killed one of the animals and there was blood there was a shedding of blood and as a result of that hallelujah he caused another door to be opened a door of fruitfulness and the bar the door of barrenness was shut down i pray for you today every wicked door that has been opened to bring judgment over your life Every satanic door that has been proclaimed over your life and destiny, today by the reason of the blood, I shut down that door in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree every pending judgment over your life, you on periscope. Every judgment that has been released by blood, every judgment proclaimed over your life by the blood, every judgment that has opened satanic doors by the blood of Jesus Christ, I avert that judgment pronounced over you. I close down that satanic door opened against you by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. If you are here and you receive that prayer, say Amen. Glory, 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 glory to God. Zon katada balabaka zon dehes. Ilivra ka zon dele mandola mandelia paradi. I didn't hear you say Amen on Periscope. God bless you. Hallelujah for those who receive Amen. May you receive your miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Ze pakarado romosunda balias. In the name of Jesus. In Genesis chapter 19, hallelujah. Genesis chapter 19, verse 6. Something happened, hallelujah. We see something happen in the in, 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 in 
in the city that Lot chose. You know, for every beautiful city, there is always giants. There are always spirits that live in there. Yeah, yeah, we dwell in America, which seems to be a great city, but there are a lot of people that live in sin. A lot of people that live in an abomination. Hallelujah. One of the things we got to see is this. Look at what it says in um, chapter 19 of Genesis. There came two angels to Sodom at even, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face towards the ground. Something about these guys. It looks like they were tall. It looks like they carried dominion. They looked like angels. There came two angels to Sodom, even at even. Now, this is, remember, we just read that, we read that verse um, 18, chapter 18. Hallelujah. And Lord sat in the gate of the Sodom. Lord, seeing them, rose up to meet them. He bowed himself, his face to the ground. And he said, Behold now, my Lord, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house. Tarry your night, wash your feet, and you shall rise up early and go your way. Amen. Now, this guy was doing the same thing that Abraham did. Hallelujah. He pressed upon them greatly, and they turned him unto him. He begged them. He pleaded. He, he begged them. Even though they refused, they wanted to go another way. He begged them, pleaded with them to come. You must do that to men of God in this season. If you want the Lord to turn away your wrath, if you want the Lord to turn aside, if you want the Lord to turn the rage of the enemy a, a back to sender, if you want the Lord to fight for you, you must be able to turn the heart of men of God for your behalf. You must be able to win them. Forget all those messages of the devil on WhatsApp, on Facebook, on YouTube, talking about titan, all those nonsense. Those are just the ones who want to paralyze your effectiveness in the Lord. Listen to me. When you buy a prophet, a nation is delivered. Buy a prophet. Listen to me. When you begin to offer some certain things and you begin to appease and provoke the men of God to make a declaration over you, buy your tithes and your offerings or your seeds. Something very unique turns around. I've never really understood this, but even myself, when I begin to see some certain rages of the enemy, I pick up a sacrifice and I release it. When I release it before the man of God and whatever they say, it turns around the ju evil judgment released against you. I'm telling you right now, there is no enchantment, no sorcery or divination that has been spoken over your life that will stand when you release a seed offering. Valuable seed offering, not those ones that says like $10, $20. I'm talking about real ones that come forth. When you're, if you're, This is for those who are really facing heavy rage and every evil attack that like you have done so many things you have even fasted you have prayed and it seems like the mountain is not going on going anywhere lift up a sacrifice go before your prophet amen and release it and they will make a declaration over your life hallelujah mm. verse 3 he pressed them greatly and they turned in on unto him and entered into the house and he made them a feast and did bake unleavened bread and did eat remember what abraham did too but before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round about, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they came, they called unto Lot, and said unto him, We are the men which came into thee this night. Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. Wow. That we may have an intimate relationship with them. And Lot went out of the door unto them, and shut the door after him. And said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold now, I have two daughters, which are not known men, which I have not known men. Let me, I pray you, bring them bring them out unto you. And do ye unto them as good in your eyes. Only these men do nothing. And they said, and they said, stand back. And they said again, this one fellow came into Sir John. He will need to be judged. Hallelujah. And they pressed so unto the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. But the men put forth their hands and put Lot into the house to them and shut the door. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. These were children of Belia. This is, this is, uh, this is absurd. People trying to rape men. Because some certain men entered. So demonic men now want to come and defile these men. This was the level of darkness in that city. Hallelujah. And the men said unto Lord, Has thou here any besides son in law, thy daughters, thy son and thy daughters? Whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place. And these are the men, this is the men of God speaking to this guy. So much wickedness. Bring your daughters, all of them, bring them out of the city. For we, we will destroy this place. Because of the cry of them is wasn't great before the 
face of the Lord. And the Lord sent us to destroy it. The Lord went out and spake unto his sons in law, which married their daughters, and said, Up, get out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. Are you hearing me? And the spirit of death, God was, was bringing judgment upon that city by his sacrifice. God began to turn things around. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. Get out, and get out. And while he lingered, do you see that? While he lingered, the man laid hold on his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of the two daughters and the Lord be merciful unto him. The Lord what? Be merciful unto him. And they brought him forth and set him out without the city. And it came to pass that they had, they had brought them forth abroad. That he said, escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. You see what happened? Before we go deeper, we see something that is very, very, very unique here. We see how God began to arise because of an offering. Lot. I'm sure the wife was delaying. You know how women want to pick up this, pick up that? They lingered and the men took hold of them and pulled them out immediately. Say, come out very quickly. Is urgent of heaven. Judgment is not falling tomorrow. It's falling now. Run out of this place immediately. And he grabbed hold of the hand and began to pull him out quickly. As he was pulling them very quickly. The woman began to get distracted. Minnesota. Minnesota. Hallelujah. The, people, the woman begin to look back. The woman begin to get distracted. He said, "What? Look not back. Why they lingered? Look at what he says in verse 17. Came to pass as they brought them forth abroad. He said, and escaped for their life. Look not behind thee. Neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain. Let that be consumed. Don't be in that level place. Don't be in that valley." Go up in the mountain. Go in the realm of the spirit. Don't be in the flesh. Some people always ask me, he says, why did Zechariah, why did John the Baptist's father, why suddenly the Lord silenced him? God said to the angel, provoke not the angel because he will not pardon thee. When, the angel, when God was saying this to Moses, are we saying that angels are robots? Are we saying that angels have unforgiving spirit? Are we saying that angels don't reason? Are they robots that they don't pardon? God says he will not pardon thee. Provoke not the angel. So when Zechariah began to speak, how can this be? He was struck. His mouth was silenced. Angel Gabriel said, I stand in the presence of God. Unbelief is not permitted here in this kingdom. And as a result of that proclamation, as a result of that spoken word, he silenced this priest who was walking holy. What did he do wrong? To attract that rage. He never offered a sacrifice. The sacrifice, if he offered sacrifice, he would have received mercy from that angel. I don't know if you understand. So here we see Lot, sacrifice was made. Abraham, sacrifice was made. Sarah laughed at the prophetic word. He showed a level of unbelief. But mercy came in the house. Because Abraham pleaded with them. Now, why, why, why did this woman fall into judgment? And Lord said unto them, Oh, not so, my Lord. Behold, now thy servant has found grace in thy sight. Thou hast magnified thy mercy, which has showed me in saving my life. I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me and I die. Behold, now this city is near to flee unto. 
it is a little one. Let me escape either. Hallelujah. Haste thee, escape thee thou, for I cannot do anything till thou come hither. Therefore, the name of the city was called Zohar. Hallelujah. Hmm. Amen. Now, it says something. Look at the verse 24. Then the Lord rained Sodom and upon Gomorrah, rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the city that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. I've been to that city where, you know, I mean, which is a pillar of salt. How will she just look back and she become a pillar of salt? She was missing something within the heart. Her heart was still back in that city. She was living in Egypt, but Egypt, Egypt was still in her. You don't need to backslide. You don't need to backslide. And when you begin to look back, she was turned to salt. Really? You mean you just look back? When you reflect, many of us, God will say, move forward. And we want to dig back to the past. We want to go back to the vomit. Every time you go back to your vomit, you attract an attack. You attract a curse. Listen to me. There are doors in, in, in our lives, in our seasons. Yesterday is a door. Today is a door. Tomorrow is a door. If yesterday's door brought accusations, if yesterday's door brought problems and afflictions, if yesterday's door, listen to me, every door that the enemy accesses into your life, the devil has no power over your tomorrow. But the devil, for the devil to mess up your future and your present, it makes sure that he digs to the archives of yesterday. He makes sure he opens the door of yesterday. And when he opens the door of yesterday, he shows you your mistakes. He shows people your mistakes that you did yesterday to disapprove you of your tomorrow. It brings it to your now. Hallelujah. Remember this, the devil is a fighter. So when the devil wants to fight you, opens the pages, every negative document against your life. He opens it, shows you your past, or shows people your past, your helpers your past, or shows wherever. Amen. Hallelujah. And begins to discredit you. There's, there are documents that based on your sources, or your past sources, yesterday or wherever it is. He will not open that book. He will only open the book that you failed. Hallelujah. And so that's why we need to shut every satanic door that is in our past. Shut the door down so that the enemy will not creep through that door and enter our present or enter our future. Hallelujah. To turn to your past, to open the book of your past, is to allow the serpent of your past to creep into your future. I pray for you today. Every tragedy that keeps repeating itself in a circle, that every November, every November, or every July, you must go through this attack or through this problem. Whatsoever circle that's been repeated in your life, in your bloodline, by the power and the blood, we break it now. We break it in the name of Jesus. We break that evil circle by the power and the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank God for his love and his glory. So when this woman turned back and began to reflect, she was turned into salt. Provoke not the angel. Those are certain things the Lord has said into your life. You must obey. This year. This year. Make it that you must have thorough obedience. And don't permit nothing to set you back this year. If you are working diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God, <laughs> the Lord will set you on high. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, glory to God. I pray for you that all satanic doors in your life must be shut down by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It must be shut down. Hmm. So what, what must we do? How, what must we do to avert, I told you before, if there's anything that the enemy will do to affect you, 
Jesus says, I stand at your door and I knock. At your door is where sacrifices are to be made. Amen. At your door, judgments can come at your door. And it's up to you to open the door. How do we silence negative doors? How do we revoke evil decrees? How do we avert the judgment of the enemy? How do we um, um, destroy the workings of the devil? Let's go there quickly. Um, in the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12. Genesis 12. Verse 7. We're going to also read, we're going to also read verse 23. But let's read verse 7 first. Hallelujah. Hmm. Verse 6. And ye shall keep it up to the 14th day of the month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. And they shall take off the blood, strike it on the doorposts and upon the upper door posts of the houses, wherein ye shall eat it, and they shall eat flesh in the door. Now, hallelujah, let's go to 23. Let's go to 23 quickly. Um, read from verse 22. Ye shall take a bunch of hyssop, dip it in the blood, and that is in the basin, strike the linen, side post of the door, and in the basin, and none of you shall go out of the door of his house until the morning. For the Lord will pass through to smite Egyptians. And when he seeth the blood upon the lintel and on the two sides of the door of the of the post, the Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come in to your houses to smite you. Hallelujah. Ye shall observe this thing for an ordinance to thee and to thy sons forever. What is he trying to tell us? Hallelujah. By the reason of your blood, by the reason of the blood of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, whatsoever activities of hell that has been positioned against your life. And remember this, there is a door to your soul, there is a door in your houses, there is a door where you live. And God totally instructed them, stay within your house till the morning, but apply the blood upon the doorpost of your house. Your house. And he said what? Let's go further. Look at what it says. He shall take a, a hyssop, dip it in the blood. Now, we saw in that... Um, hallelujah. We saw in that... Um, 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 that same early scripture. Hallelujah. And the verse 13. Look at what it says. Verse 13. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon your houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass you over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. What is he trying to say? Now, what are you telling us? How does this blood, uh, amen, how does this blood fight for us? How does this blood defend us? How does this blood avert the workings of the devil? Look at what it says in verse 5. Verse 5. Your lamp shall be without blemish. A male of the first year, you shall take it out of from the sheep and from the goats. And you shall keep it to the 14th day. Amen. Hallelujah. He said you shall kill it in the evening. Now, this sheep, God needed a, the best of the sheep. Not a blemish one. Not a fake one. If you take a blemish one, you kill it, and you put the blood on your door, it might reduce the effectiveness. What God was trying to say, you must offer a sacrifice. A sacrifice will terminate. A sacrifice will destroy. A sacrifice that being offered will negate the workings of the devil. It wasn't just the blood of Jesus. You had to pay a price. When you pay a price, you sprinkle that blood on your door. Something happens. God begins to fight for you. God begins to stand for you. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's so deep what I'm sharing with you. You might just think it's a man word. I mean, but I'm telling you, when you practice, when you practice this world, you will see the reality of God fight for you. All of them had a sacrifice. Even when Job has lost his sacrifice, God spoke to his friends, take a sacrifice and take it to Job. Let him pray for you. But that's what God, that's what Job needed. A sacrifice. A sacrifice. And when the sacrifice was being released, Job began to pray. God was able to hear. Because now, remember this now, all the sacrifices of Job was wiped out. Poverty had wiped off all the sacrifices of Job. 
So God commanded his friends to bring some sacrifice. God will always bring seed to your life when you have exhausted all your seed. Not the seed for you to eat, but the seed to offer to God, to provoke a harvest in your life. There are some prophecies that has been declared over you that has been held back, that has been tied down. Some projects tied down because the enemy is sitting upon it as a result of a blood that was shed by a witch doctor against you. But by a sacrifice, you stop the judgment released against you. You, you, you provoke in angels to fight for you. Yet God was about to strike the Egyptians. Yet God was about to strike the pharaohs. But he needed blood to be shed so that the angel of the Lord can move and also protect this family. It's one thing to destroy the camp of the wicked. It's another thing to protect you from the rage and the backlash of the enemy. Hallelujah. This word is for somebody. It's not for everybody. But I pray for you today that blood be splashed over your door, be splashed over your children, be splashed over your job, everywhere you go. Let blood be released. Lift up a sacrifice, a heavy duty sacrifice, and let the blood be released to fight for your behalf. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We are about to, we are about to round up. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, all of us should be better than baby a paradise. And in the land of the boss, I'm land of the apartheids. Ah, ya barakado, shundo boss. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. In the name of Jesus, wonderful God. Wonderful God. Hallelujah. You know, one of the things you must understand that in this season, your life, I tell you something, God is about to release sudden miracle, sudden opportunity, sudden blessings that will blow your mind. I tell you that. There is a great door that God is opening this season. Hallelujah. There's a great door that God wants to open in your life. Ha oh boy, Zebra house. It is a supernatural door. There is a supernatural door where the voice of the Lord will be so loud. A door in the realm of the spirit that will cause you to be. Shush. Book of Revelations. My God, I can feel it. I feel the heavens switching now. Holy Spirit. A book of Revelations. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Revelation chapter 3, verse 8. It says, I know that works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not condemned my name. I have set before thee an open door. There is an open door that is open to somebody now. It's like I feel heaven sitting upon me now. Let's go further. Oh, Rabaka Shedebo Sundolobo Solos. In that same verse 20, he said, Behold, I stand at the door. And knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and we sup with him and he will be here with me there is an open invitation only if you hear the voice of God God is calling you to deeper places with him a deeper fellowship with him if you hear the voice of God do not delay I'm going to share the last one and this is where God is taking many of us to 
this is where God is taking me now first to Revelation chapter 4 verse 1 verse 1 after this, I looked and behold a door. Remember, Jacob saw this door. And behold, a door was open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was that it was a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be after hereafter. And immediately, I was in the spirit, and behold, the throne was set in heaven. Oh God, I pray that this door be open for all of us. Open this great supernatural door for many of us. I don't know if you are here. Those on Periscope, can you hear me? I pray for you today. Let the supernatural door, give me some hearts. Many of you are so quiet. Open to us, Lord, this supernatural door, this supernatural door, by the power and the blood of Jesus, I pray that this supernatural door be opened where we hear the voice of God, where we hear the tangible voice of the Spirit. Let the voice of God, Father, open to us this fresh door that will change our season. We want to hear from you as of a trumpet. Open this door, Father. Open this door. Open this door. Open this door, Holy Spirit. Open this door, Father. The door that we dine with you. This fresh supernatural door of intimacy with you. The door of heavenly fellowship. Where the bride and the bridegroom interact the divine conversations with you the door where we be able to access the very voice of the spirit oh God and he said come up hither father we ask for these doors to be opened in the realm of the spirit open to us this great and effectual door great and effectual door holy spirit let us abide in that sacred place. Let us abide in your God. Man grondo brada lava so devered Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Close down every evil doors, every satanic doors, every door that is not of God, every door open to the demonic realm. Let those doors be closed. But I pray that only the doors that will lead us to greatness only the doors that will lead us to your presence father let our doors be open jesus the doors that will be open to heavenly messages the doors that will open our eyes in the realm of the spirit let such doors be open in our soul you stand at the door you knock anyone that opens and hear my voice father open to us this great door in jesus name Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless everyone for joining us. The Lord will bless you. The Lord keep you. And the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. My, my fellows in um, the prayer line, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Amen. You blessed? Hallelujah. Are you blessed today? Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Any, any, anybody has anything to say before we go? Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, not, I mean, let's share the grace and there we go. God bless you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. I speak blessings upon you today. I ask in the name of Jesus that the hand of the Lord rest upon you. I say from today, may you grow from glory to glory. May the strength of the Almighty be upon you. May you be a carrier of His glory. 
May you be a carrier of his power. May you be anointed with fresh oil from today. I pray that every door that has been opened in the realm of the spirit, may that door begin to lead you to greatness. May that door begin to lead you. Amen. Lead you to supernatural doors in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, every door of judgment, every door of the enemy that has opened your life, we shut down that door by the power and the blood. Every door open your family. Amen. Hallelujah. We close down such doors by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I bless God for his love and his glory over you. In Jesus' name we pray. Be strong. Be strengthened. Be filled with his power. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless everyone. Hallelujah. Love you now. Be strong in the Lord. Offer a sacrifice before him. Present a sacrifice before him. Amen. So that God will be able to avert. Some of you, hallelujah. Amen. Some of you don't like someone to tell you to give or to sow, sow seed. I encourage you to sow a seed. Amen. If you've never done it, at least sow a seed of $50. If you've never done it. Amen. Hallelujah. When you leave the prayer line, amen, you go on the PayPal and give a seed offering. Amen. $50, whatever it is, so that God will be able to avert whatsoever judgment has been released against your life. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. The Lord keep you and the Lord guide you. In Jesus' name. The Lord sustain you. Amen. Amen. Love you. Bye-bye. Kuraka sumbrandele kadaya. Shanda badabadabash.